guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am joining my friend Sarah from Sarah Scraps for a new series every Wednesday in the month of August um, called Documenting the Tough Stuff. So we spend, as creators, a lot of time documenting, like, the happy moments and the celebrations and holidays and vacations, all the fun things. Um, but there's also a place in our album and our storytelling for the difficult things, the tough stories. Um, we want to, or I want to, make sure that I'm giving a full picture of, of life and what life is like in our family and what we are going through and dealing with, and that includes some of the struggles. So today I am talking on this particular layout a lot about fear. And fear is something that we have dealt with with my kiddos. And so inside this black envelope, I had already like pre-done my journaling and I typed up and I wrote it basically as a letter to fear itself. And so basically it's a letter talking about my personal fear, which is a fear of flying, as well as some issues my kids have had with dealing with and coping with fear and kind of how we get through that and how we approach big, hard, scary things in our family. And so I don't, like one of my big tips, I guess, for documenting tough stuff stories is I don't necessarily want my journaling out there for everybody. I don't necessarily think everyone flipping through my albums needs to see and read all of that, you know, very personal information. So when we go with, when I am creating with um, pages more about tough, difficult things, um, I tend to do a lot more hidden journaling, and that's something that I do for a fair amount anyway, um, but this is definitely a case where I prefer my journaling hidden, and that does not mean that that's the only way to do it, but for me, that's what works. So inside this long black envelope is all of that journaling, talking about fear and how we've handled and kind of coped with fear in my family. And so something else that I tend to find myself doing when I am, dif when I am documenting the difficult or the tough stories is I tend to use a much more kind of subdued color palette. So today I'm playing with this new Just Because collection, and this is from Wild Whisper Designs, and it's perfect for the kind of feel that I want in this page. So it's got a little bit of more of the darker colors. We've got some black, some green, grays. It definitely has a more serious tone, and I want that when I'm documenting things that are a little harder for my family. So it would create a really big disconnect if I were to create this huge, happy, bright, fun layout talking about something horrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there isn't, there isn't a, a color palette like that. There's not going to create that continuity if you're using a really bright, fun color palette and then you're talking about something that is, you know, more subdued and a more sensitive topic. So for me, that means that I tend to shy away from the really bright, vibrant, fun colors and tend to go with more of a subtle, uh, kind of serious color palette. And so for this particular one, I've got the black and white and the, the pop of green, and then I am putting in just a little bit of orange. And I wanted to use that 3 by 4 card that has all the geotags up at the top, um, because I'm talking about, and I'm using a picture of flying as part of what I talk about in my particular journaling, so talking about my fear of flying and how I don't allow that fear to determine that I'm not going to travel and I'm not going to see the world, and how I approach that same idea with my kids, and quotes that we use and ideas that we talk about with fear and all that kind of thing is kind of inside the journaling. So the picture itself is more of a travel-related picture, so it worked with this road trip collection, and all I did was pull out a lot of the black and white and green from this particular collection, and then I have just that little pop of orange to kind of add a little bit of color. And I went ahead and took the stamp set from this collection, the Road Trip collection as well, and just used the letters. So all of these fit together to create these really cool little license plates. And I was totally going to create a fear license plate. But then I decided that I wanted the word fear repeated over and over. And so in order to do that, I just went ahead and fussy cut those letters. So I stamped them on some white cardstock, fussy cut around them, added just a little bit of a pop of orange, and I'm carrying that through with my enamel dots there. I did kind of strategically place my letters so that that envelope with my journaling will still open. So if you're going to use some hidden journaling, you want to make sure that even though it's hidden, it's still able to be accessed. 
Um, so that's kind of a key when you're doing that hidden journaling. Otherwise, I just created a few layers and kept this layout pretty simple. I didn't want it to be super over embellished. I didn't want there to be a lot going on. I really wanted the focus to just be on this idea of fear and that hidden journaling that I have in there talking about how we handle fear in my family. So hopefully you'll take a look through your own pictures and uh, layouts and things and see if there are some tough stories that you need to work on documenting and consider including things like a more kind of somber or darker color palette as well as some hidden journaling. And I will be back to see you again next week with another Tough Stuff Documented. Bye guys.